We're down in Homestead with Arturo. Arturo grows a whole lot of trees, uh, all sorts of tropical fruit trees. And I, I wanted to talk to him uh, or have him talk to everybody about potting soil because we have gotten a lot of questions about potting soil. And Arturo actually uses two kinds of potting soil and uh, for different applications. Yes. And you do tens of thousands of trees. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know what has worked for you the best mm -hmm. and I'd like you to share that with everyone. Well, like you said, we have two types of soils and one type, like the ones we use for mangoes, it's got the sand in it. Because the mangoes, they drink slow. Like right now that they're blooming, they're not drinking a lot of water. So, and they can drown if they got too much water. So I need them to drain. Yeah. And to get that in the soil, they add sand to it, you know. And the sand to it is 30% of sand. And then it's got a 40% of Florida pea, but you need also to retain some moisture, right? And then you also have the rest is wood chips. You know, and they which they would decompose, and then you have a little organic something there. So those are the main th three that goes on trees or plants that that they don't drink a lot. Some trees drink a lot more, and then we use a different soil. So mangoes, remember, they need little water, and they need a soil that the water drains, and the way to see how fast it drains, wait until they get all dry. So it's better to wait for the plant to completely dry before you water, but don't wait too long. And then when you come and you water, when you see the water coming out, that's when you stop. And you're going to see the one with the sand, the water's going to go down faster. And that's what you want. So you're going to do that with the mangoes and also the sugar apples. All this stuff, they like water. So they don't you know, care if they sit on water. And that's right there, one that likes the water. You can see it's like in the swamp. You see this, it's in the water. And now the soil mix for that one is different. See? This one, it's got no sand at all. Yeah. I bring it to you. See how dark it is? That's 60% Florida pea. That's an organic matter that is under the sand in Central Florida. And they mine that. So, and that's 60% of the, what's in that pot. And the rest is wood chips. You know, not pine bark, you know, just regular wood chips. Usually from the pine trees we got here. But if we don't do cypress, that, that's what we pre uh, prefer. It lasts longer in the, in the path. So that, those are the two soils that we use for about everything. Now, uh, do you want to know which ones drink more, or which ones drink less? Uh, no, do you uh, put any amendments with the soil, have them throw in? Well, anything? we do. We use on it, I'm glad you brought that up, uh, a slow release fertilizer, 18.6A. That means 80% nitrogen, the, the six is phosphorus, and the A is potassium. And as you know, those are the main three things plants eat. You know, that's their food, the main food. And it is slow release the last nine months. And we do that at the time of transplanting. Every time we transplant, and you don't see it there, and I forgot about it, because we bury it. So down here, you're gonna see these little balls, and that's then. You see, those little silver balls? That's the, the slow release for life. Then, um, if the plant stays here longer than six months, you know, or, or the nine months, but they don't last the nine months because of the rain and all the water. It, then we come and we give it a top dressing, like a 12, 6, 9, 30 days. And then we just keep feeding that. 
and then don't feed your weeds, man. You gotta pull the weeds. Man. So that if not that, they go, and the weeds, the soil, they take the, the rub your soil, but you're gonna pull it, and when you pull the weeds, the soil all over the place. And, and the fertilizer and all. So the, um, yeah, you can see the sand and you can see the, the muck here. This thing is so, but I like this. This is all natural. So, so is the wood chips. So, you use this, the mix with the sand for mango trees and the sugar apple. And the sugar apple. And then everything else, what, what kinds of plants do you put, uh, use the other soil for? This one, the avocados, they, they like a heavy mix, more water. The guavas love water. The bananas like the water. <clears throat> The sapodillas, the, like the water, and then the rest of the stuff, you know, I use the one with, for the, with the sand, yeah, especially all the anonas, all sour sap, guanabana. You can do this heavy mix. They, they can handle a lot of water. A lot more water than a sugar apple or an atemoya. Those need to drink well. And also, uh, that sand, sandy soil, can be used for germinating large seeds, like avocado seeds. But you don't want the avocado seeds sitting in water that will rot. So this soil can be used for that, and we use it for that. Also, when we do the turpentines, that we plant the seeds for the rootstock, that's the soil we use. We want a soil that drains well. So for seeds, you, any type of seed, you need a soil that drains well. You just have to water more often. But uh, they germinate better and less disease. Because too much water is worse than too little water. You know, the plants, they, 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 they will drown. Between the soil particle, you got air pockets. And in those air pockets, you have oxygen. And they take that oxygen. So if you fill those air pockets with water, the plant is going to drown, no oxygen. <laughs> yeah. the, so the, I, 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 the watering to me is probably the most important thing. And the soil, because everything starts with the soil. Remember that. Everything starts there. And, and, and then number two, the water. The, the watering, it's got to be time. The plant cannot stress. I stress. The plant don't stress. <laughs> because when they shut down, then it takes it sometimes days to come back up again. So you, the trick is to just keep them growing constantly. Don't let the whole system shut down. And that could be many things. And, and lack of water is the one that does it faster. And right now, we're in the dry season. You know, and every day is different. People tell you, oh, I water one hour a day. Or they tell you, water one hour a day, every day, don't do it. Every day the weather's different, you know, but you have to be there and uh, look it up. You know, look things up. Like today, you see, only 10 minutes of water because it's cool and they're not drinking that much. And you know, the day they're still short, they wouldn't have those long days. When the summer come, up to one hour sometimes. You know, with those long days. And, and but, but now, let's water now. Especially with this kind of soil. That soil there sometimes can go a day or two without water. Well, thanks very much. All right. <laughs>